Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Here we are again with the flail mower, offset flail mower from Nova Tractor. As you can see out there, we're here at the church today, mowing down the blackberries. We already hit this. I did this a few weeks ago and then it, it was, well, it was this tall. And we just hit it again. Can't get over there anymore because there seems to be a berm there. But we're out here. And there's some tall grass. And there is blackberries. So we're going to be slowly working our way out this field. And we'll see how it does. So. This area here I knocked down a couple weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, but it was all that tall. So we're going to get in there and see what this flail mower does to knock down this tall bus there. And it does bog down a little bit. That's a 1025R. Drive along. We gotta get all this in here too. We're not too worried about the edges. The weed whacker crew are coming in through that. They're just doing the big stuff. Uh, this summer was is the summer that we've really been using this this mower. I did another video where we mowed a friend's field. We went up there this morning and did the field again. And uh, so yeah, it's getting worked out this summer, and it's holding up. The bars in the back and the front are bent in for hit stuff. But other than that, I've been keeping it greased and it's been running. It's been running good. So, yeah. Check the coupon code in the description. If you buy something with the coupon code, I get a little kickback, help support the channel. And bring you back when we get a little further into it. I don't know if you can hear me over the more. Here we are, whacking on these blackbirds. Gonna leave some stubble and we can come back over it again and get it. But even out here, this stubble, it just knocks it down because it's too long. But 
Over time, keep mowing it. It'll go away. Really rough out here. it is out here. Our plan is to get some more practice out here and, and level all this and get it down to the point where we can mow it like that. It's mowable. That's the goal. Probably going to take a couple of summers to do it. But. right there we can't mow there because that's a big mound of dirt so you can see there's mounds everywhere thought about bringing my uh land plane out dragging it over this. I've also got too far for the bucket that uh, I can put on there and help dig this stuff out. But that is another day. Today is mowing day. Got something wound up in there. Looks like he's grabbed the wire. Tilt it. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll bring you back after we get this mess cleaned out. Well, that's what was in there. Okay. Let's go back to it. So, anyway, there was some wire by that maple tree. For those of you who don't know about a flail mower, it's designed for it to ride on that roller in the back. So you just set the thing down. You don't try to set the height adjustment with your three-pointer or anything. You set it down and you let it float. I like to take the top link and push it out to bring the front end of that mower up so it can go over, especially in this rough terrain, it can go over stuff easier and this is a 
I don't know if I ever said that on any other videos. This one came with hammers. It didn't come with the knives. And for cutting down blackberries and weeds and brush, they say the hammers are better. So the only disadvantage of trying to mow down stuff that high is it gets clogged up in the, the mower. I mean, this would work way better, probably, these blackberries with a rotary come in, lift it up, drop it down, come out. But we don't have that. We have a flail mower. So we see what we can do with it. Okay, I had a try at it for a while. We did get the uh, we did get it all packed in there with blackberries. We had to stop and dig them out. It got bogged down and then tractor died. But you know. We're making progress. Love to come down here with a bulldozer and just go out. All this dirt here that's high, push it off down there. But we found a we found a gap. It's grass area now. Now he has to avoid these maple trees back here. Uh, growing up. It's going to be pretty nice. That shouldn't be too hard. But that means we leave some blackberries. That's okay. So I was backing in. I was backing in, lifting up, backing in, dropping it, pulling it out. And that seemed to be pretty good. Now he's pulling out the blackberries with it. But one thing nice about a flail mower is that it pretty much grinds it up to nothing. And of course, we found stuff in there that we shouldn't be mowing over to the third pile. Never know what we're going to find.
So these blackberries are not native to the Northwest. And they're a bit of an invasive species, but it's also primarily what the bees around here get their nectar off of this time of year. With all these blooms. So. Don't worry, there's plenty of them around. All right, we'll bring you back when we get a bit further. Well, he's finishing up out there as far as we're going to do. I'll show in a minute. But anyway, thanks for watching. Check out my channel for other videos on this mower. Um, again, check the coupon code. The description. I don't know. I don't mind. I don't like to be a tester or anything, but we're gonna buy one. We keep on it. We get some from them. So we got pretty much all the blackberries. I think we're gonna leave that clump. We need to talk to them and see which one of those those little maple trees back there. We want us, there's some little ones, we may them all molded. We may save them, we have to find out. But, start a pile of junk we found out here. And, uh, anyway, it pulverizes pretty good. back here and show you. Once we get past these blackberries that are right here, the area turns nice and grassy. And yeah, there's some little clumps. But this is actually a nice spot. And again, there's dirt back here from some of the other projects that would happen around here. But it looks like So anyway, appreciate you guys watching, and catch you next time. Okay, he's mowing the grass now. Seems to be going through it pretty good. Pretty much done with those blackberries. Got one more clump we'll get next time we come out here. Anyway, that thing just chewed it up. All right. Thanks for watching.